In my opinion, procedural animations are the future of game development. These animations are amazing, they're fully dynamic, they can be literally edited in every single way possible. And the benefit of using procedural animation is that the animations that you get from like, you know, using this procedural animation techniques are really organic and they're completely dynamic. Like, you can change the animation however you want and you don't have to manually create multiple different states for your animation and, you know, for multiple different situations, you don't need to create multiple different sta uh, stages of your animation. You can just create one single animation and then make it change depending on the uh, actions and inputs given to it. And as you might already be able to guess, since it's so amazing, it's a nightmare to set up or get into. Now, the basic concept of procedural animation is that you will be creating a program or a script or a technique or a method that would command your pre-existing rig or model to work in a very different way, depending on a situation. Let's first say example, aiming. Just say that you have a normal animation of aiming in one direction. Now you can add a procedurally generated animation on top of that animation, for say example, to move the hips and the arms and the head towards the target. And this animation lays on top of your pre-existing animation and then, you know, just sort of moves it around and, well, like, you know, to make it set a target that you want to look at that and the original anime just, animation just runs and then on top of that procedural animation is applied to it. Now this concept comes from Unity's procedural animation, which is the animation rigging package. I don't know how other things work, but for me, I know this much, so yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Now using this concept, I tried my best to make a FPS game. Now I haven't really used any kind of animations or anything like that, but I did manage to collect some resources and do some tweaking left or right and create a very simple procedurally generated recoil system for a FPS controller. I mean, look at this gun. As you can see, these animations and this recoil system, this is completely procedural and like, you know, there is no animator component attached to the gun itself that it is. It just randomly shoots and, you know, randomly sends back recoil. And to my opinion, this is pretty good because it makes the animation and shooting everything make look like, you know, very natural. And this technique is mostly used in many AAA games nowadays and none of the AAA games no more animate things up. They just procedurally generate these things. And this is a very, very, very simple concept. Like. In this, in this demo um, that I'm showing off, this is very simple, like this isn't even very complicated or anything. This can be changed in many shapes and forms and make and can be like, you know, made into very complicated systems and mechanics. But this is a very simple thing that just, you know, takes a different frequency and then just, you know, fires it off, randomly calculates stuff and then adds random rotations to many different pivots of an object and then, you know, sends it back and forth and makes some things up. Okay, so let me real quick explain what's happening in the demo scene here. So this is something that I came up with and I used a simple tutorial, this tutorial in particular, to create a recoil algorithm. And then also I made some view bombing. I, actually, I haven't added the view bombing yet. I have added some weapons way, a, like a procedural recoil for the weapon itself. And then there's the bullet hole recoil, bullet recoil by watching this tutorial. So how does this thing entirely work? So the entire thing that you're seeing right now, none of this is animated. Everything is controlled with the code and values. And as you can see, there's a lot of procedural recoil. The weapon re has a weapon has a different recoil and then there's the bullet recoil. In my game, the shooting or where the bullets are fired from are from the camera. You can get this similar kind of shooting effect if you watch the Brachius tutorial on FPS. So the bullets are not fired from the gun itself, but instead they're fired from the camera using a raycast. So in my demo, the weapon itself is just a graphic object and it's not firing any real bullets. So that's why we have to apply the recoil system to the main camera itself. So the weapon has a different recoil script that only simulates the uh, recoil effect for the weapon and it's not actually doing anything rather than just create that game feel and that FPS depth of like carrying a weapon and shooting bullets from it. I came up with some weapons weighing effect and I also added some view bobbing 
which is not shown in this demo but it will be shown in the future demo so stay tuned or something like that okay so here's the basic understanding there's a game object which holds the camera then the camera holds the weapon itself since the weapon is just a graphics object and it doesn't contribute in any way on the main shooting mechanics it's just a graphic object there so for the weapon there's a different script called the weapon recoil which simulates the weapons going back and forth and like you know having that recoil when you fire it and it's completely for the depth and the game feel so but it's really important because without that the game would just feel very like static and not good at all then there's the main camera with that game object attached to it underneath the main object like the game object there's the camera and on the game object sits the camera recoil script which is responsible for the bullets recoil because the bullets are basically shot from a recast at the middle of the screen from the camera itself so to create a camera movement and a bullet recoil all together we're adding a randomly generated noise to the camera itself that's moving the camera on the x y position and sometimes on the z position by doing this we're simulating a recoil effect and this is completely generated with code which means that there is no animation involved to it whatsoever and the recoil and the uh, like the camera shake is very natural because it's completely based on random noise itself there are parameters and float values for altitude and frequencies which control basically the recoil amount and it can be set individually for different weapons and different scenarios. For example, if you're on like hip fire mode, there would be a lot of recoil, but if you're on EDS mode, you don't want there to be a lot of recoil. So you can just have a script that would change its value or you can have a boolean or a state that would check if it's aiming or not if you're aiming then it would lower the lower the like the main recoil and same goes for the weapon itself and that's basically the base concept of it i would link down the video which i watched for this recoil thing and by watching that recoil video i also took some inspiration for the weapon recoil and the weapon recoil basically follows a similar kind of script which i created from watching the original video and well that's pretty much it and there's also a weapon sway effect which just basically sits on a different game object that carries the original game object of the gun and it just has like adds a little bit of dampening and delay on the weapon movement which creates this weapon swaying effect it's very basic but it does the job perfectly